This film shows a role-play exercise that you may undertake if you apply to be a judge. This particular role-play was used as part of the assessment of candidates for the post of recorder sitting in the family jurisdiction. Before watching the film, it's important that you read the accompanying written explanatory notes. Please stand. <clears throat> Janning versus Janning and re a minor. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Anita White. May I ask the people present to, to introduce themselves? Yes. Yes, Shona, good morning. Uh, my name's Talbot. I represent Mrs. Janning in her application. Thank you. Uh, my name is Edward Janning, and uh, sh should I uh, stand up or sit down when I talk to you? Uh, no, that's all right. You can remain seated if right. you wish. And uh, um, what, what do I call you? Your Honour. Uh, yeah, all right, Your Honour. Thank you. Hi, my name's Esther, and I'm Edward's friend. Thank you. Good morning, Your Honour. My name's Robert Carson, and I'm the CAFCAS officer. Thank you very much. Now, to begin with, I would like to ask Mr. Janning, I noticed that your application was issued through a solicitor. Yeah, that's right. May I ask why you're not being represented now? Well, I can't afford it, can I? You right. know, they're, they're taking me money just for, just for writing a letter. I, I'm sorry, my pockets are not that deep, look. Okay. Anyway, I belong to a, a group called Fathers Against Discrimination, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I know everything I need to know to do in court. They told me everything. Well, that's well and good, Mr. Janning, but I would advise you to reconsider whether it would be wise to seek legal representation because the allegations that have been made against you are extremely serious. Yeah, I know they're serious, though. That's why I'm here. Right. I'm just yes. saying I can't afford to pay any more lawyers' fees, and I know what I'm doing because I'm a member of Fathers Against Discrimination. Okay. Right. You know, but I've told you, I know what I'm doing, and uh, I can't afford it, so let's just press on, shall we? All right. Okay. Um, can I ask you, Mr. Janning, what um, Esther is doing in court? Well, uh, Your Honour, I uh, would like to raise an objection to uh, Miss Summers' presence. Um, it's contrary to well-established principles, with which I suggest you're no doubt familiar, confirmed by the Court of Appeal on numerous occasions, um, for someone in Miss Summers, um, how shall I say, Miss Summers' position to be permitted to remain during discussion of confidential matters. Uh, relating to the family in general and the children in particular. And I would further add that uh, the very same point arose uh, before, a, when I was before a senior circuit court judge last week, Your Honour, and uh, it seemed to be on any, beyond any serious reasonable debate. Your Honour, can I yes. just say, yeah? yes. Esther respond to that. is a good <laughs> friend of mine, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not legally represented, mm -hmm. yes, whilst Caroline is. So... Yeah. Esther is here to provide me with moral support yes. and to take notes. That is only fair, Your Honour. OK? So, I, I, and I know about Mackenzie friends as well. Yeah? So she should be here in either a capacity to, 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 to be my Mackenzie friend or to give me support or to take notes or, or, or give evidence. Thank you, Mr Jones. Thank you. Your Honour, is it OK for me to speak? Please speak. Um, I'd just like to say I used to work in a solicitor's office in the Family Law Department, so I do um, appreciate the rules, and I know this hearing is confidential, yeah, yeah. and okay. I'm really here more to support um, Edward morally because yeah. it's a stressful time yeah, for him, yeah. and I just want to be able to take some notes while That's talking. Right. She knows Thank what you. she's doing. I Thank would you. have brought any, any person here. She knows what she's doing. OK. Mr Janning, I just want to reiterate and explain to you properly that a, M a Mackenzie friend may give you advice on the law and may support you, but they may not speak or address the court in any way and they may not give evidence. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. In that case, um, Ms. Summers, you can remain and thank act you. as Mr. Janning's uh, Mackenzie friend. Thank Your Honour, you. uh, um, I would at least uh, appreciate being given the opportunity to at least... Uh, have my uh, objections heard to this. Go ahead, Mr. Selvin. Um, uh, I would argue, Your Honour, it's quite obvious to um, those familiar with the authorities, Your Honour, that uh, Ms. Summers should not remain. Uh, Mr. Janning is of uh, sufficient intelligence uh, to be able to conduct the case without Ms. Summers' help, and after all, he is unrepresented by choice, Your Honour. Right. Well, is Thank it a you choice for that. that I'm skint? Excuse me, Mr. Choice that me wife's trying to take Mr. Me to the Jennings, cleaners. please. Mr. Jennings, please. Thank you, Mr. Talbot. You must sit down. Um, 
I, I will just say that my decision will remain the same. Esther will be allowed to remain here as Mr. Jennings' Mackenzie friend. I have regard to the President's guidance of 14th of October 2008, from which it is clear that there is a presumption in allowing the assistance of a Mackenzie friend. And I would say that you, Mr. Talbot, have failed to establish a basis to rebut that presumption in favor of allowing Esther to attend. Uh, Mr. Talbot, could I ask yes, you please right. why Mrs. Jennings is absent from this hearing? Well, Your Honour, she's absent this morning. Well, she's not she? absent from the hearing, is she? Because we saw her outside the front on the steps having a fag. So can you right. tell me, Your Ladyship, why she's not in here in this hearing now? That's what I want to know. Right. Can you May elucidate, please, Mr. To Talbot? Thank you. Your Honour. Thank you. Um, my client is afraid of Mr. Janning. Afraid? <laughs> and she really does not wish to be anywhere near him at all. Oh, poppycock. And, um, she has told me already that she will not attend today because of this particular situation. I see. Afraid? Well, can I tell you something, Your Ladyship? It's a pile of rubbish. She's making up these allegations to undermine my application. Well, I want to say something. She's not here today, so her application should be dismissed. And I'm here today, so you should grant my application so I can see my, my kids. And furthermore, uh, Your, Your Honour, she is a lying bitch. I wouldn't trust that Mr. Woman. Janning. I, I, she wouldn't know Mr. the truth Janning. if it hit her in the face. Mr. Janning, please. Mr. Janning, I recognise that this is a very emotional time for you. Of course it's emotional. However, I see me kiss. However... I would really appreciate it if you could calm down and if you could watch your language. I, I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. Thank it's you. Just that I want to You may just refer to me. Please let me finish, Mr. Janning. You may refer to me as Your Honour. I'm sorry, Your Honour. I just want to see me children. Yes, I understand I, that. I can't see why that order can't but... be granted today. I mean, for God's sake, they want to see me. Okay. Why can't their okay, rights be respected? I understand what you're saying, and I'm going to try and sort this matter out as best I can. Thank you. Um, I am actually going to proceed um, in the absence of uh, Mrs. Janning. Now, uh, let's look at the applications. I will look at Mr. Janning's application first. Mr. Janning, you are applying for an order of contact or residence. That's right. You were married to Mrs. Janning, and you accordingly have Sorry. parental responsibility for both those children. Come again. Parental responsibility? When I say parental responsibility... That means that you have all the rights, yeah. duties, yeah. powers, right. responsibility yeah. and authority by which, but which by law a parent has in relation to their own child. Uh, Your Honour, with great respect, I, I would remind you that um, Mr Janning is not the father of uh, the young lad Alan, 11 years right. old. So? Um, and there's no evidence no also of any agreement that he should have parental responsibility for uh, Alan. Also, the parties were not married, Your Honour, when Ben, the younger child, was born. And accordingly, Edward doesn't have parental responsibility What's that got there to do either. With anything? Um, I'm grateful to you for pointing that out to me, Mr. Talbot. I had Obliged, failed to notice that position. Um, now, I can see here that injunction was granted last September. It's still in force. And that Mrs. Janning alleges that Mr. Janning has breached the order by attending the marital home where it's alleged that he was abusive and violent and she seeks an order that he should be sent to prison for that breach. Yes, yes Your Honour, uh, my, my client has, has shown there's been a clear and blatant breach by Mr Janning of the court's injunction, and not just one, but on a number of occasions, which are set out in my client's affidavit, mm -hmm. also to remind you of the uh, abusive telephone calls. And Mr Janning... Uh, with great respect, you want to show nothing but contempt which, uh, for the court's ruling, and this merits condign punishment. Uh, and my client need not be present as the court uh, has her sworn evidence, and that should suffice, Your Honour. Absolutely you. stupid. Mr. I Janning. I'm sorry, Your Ladyship, but I'm just so frustrated with all these lies. Mr. I mean, Janning. all I want to do is see the children, as is any father's right. Mr. Janning, please. Firstly, if you interrupt while Mr. Talbot is making his case, it's not possible for me to hear him. I need to be able to hear both parties so I can adjudicate this fairly. We are very constrained for time, and we need to get through both these applications today. Now, if you continue to interrupt, I cannot hear what Mr. Talbot has to say. If you do not calm down, it's going to be very difficult for me to listen to what you have to say. If you are not able to calm down and conduct yourself appropriately, I may have to ask you to leave the court. Now, I don't want to do that. So can we agree 
that you will try and conduct yourself a little more calmly? Yes, Thank Your you. Honour, but can I just ask one thing? Yes. It was going on about condign punishment. I mean, what's that in everyday English? And, 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 and furthermore, you know, he, he, he talked about swear, uh, sworn evidence, something like that. It's like, when I start swearing and calling Caroline, you lot start telling me off. I mean, but you're letting smarty pants get away with blue murder. Your Honour, um, can I suggest that this is the first, as this is the first hearing, uh, there, a lot needs to be done, and the court is not in a position to uh, possibly at all make an order on Mr Janning's application today. Also, Your Honour, I might add, there is absolutely no merit whatsoever in Mr Janning's application, and therefore it is doomed to fail... And in any event, the application for an interim order should be dismissed forthwith. Mr Janning, what do you say to Mr Talbot? Well, I'll tell you, I've got a lot to say about that. Firstly, Caroline Janning, or whatever she wants to call herself now, is a congenital liar, yeah? Now, I can, <coughs> we can back that up, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, not only is she a liar, I can tell you what this whole thing is about. This whole thing is about money and jealousy, right? Ever since I started my new relationship, oh, she's been jealous, hasn't she? And she's tried to wreak her revenge, using the children to get back at me. Well, when I went round there on the 20th, yeah, that was as a result of Alan sending me a text saying, Daddy, I miss you. Daddy, can you come and see you? And of course, what, what man isn't going to run to his child who's saying, Daddy, I miss you? And when I got round there, I got a big hug. Yeah, big hug and a kiss from both of them. If I'm so violent, Your Honour, why was I sent the text? If I'm so violent, Your Honour, why was I given a hug? I am not a violent person. There was no violence that night. Any right. violence came from that drunkard. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Janning. Mr Talbot, please make your point. Yes, Your Honour. Um, I only seek to make the observation that Mr Janning has just made the clearest possible admission of breach of the court injunction by attending at the former matrimony home on the 20th of October 2008 and I would ask that Your Honour proceeds immediately with my client's application. Um, sorry um, Your Honour, um, I think I might have to go back and get uh, my solicitor, um, well certainly his advice regarding Caroline's application, um, but I will say this, I, do, I don't want to leave court without getting an order for contact for, for me kids. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think at this point it would be useful to ask the CAFCAS officer, Mr Carson, for his comments. Thank you, Your Honour. I would assume, Your Honour, that the court might require a Section 7 report. Yes. But it is taking some 20 weeks in Bolchester to get such a report. I uh, see. What's, what's the on about Section 7? Uh, Mr Jannings, a Section 7 report is in respect of matters relating to the children's welfare so that the CAFCAS officer, in this case Mr Carson, would be the eyes and the ears of the court and would assist the court in making its decisions. Is that clear? Uh, Thank Honor, you. Uh, please may I add that um, I am unable to ascertain whether there is a screening report at this stage. Right. Mr Carson, do you have any advice uh, regarding this interim contact? Uh, yes, Your Honour. I will make inquiries as soon as possible mm -hmm. uh, of local contact centres mm -hmm. to ascertain uh, whether uh, they'll be able to assist with facilitating any contact uh, made by the court. Um, I will also see the children to get their views. Um, I'm unable to say how long this will take, but uh, I will do it as soon as, as, soon as possible. Uh, Thank you. Uh, may I... Uh, suggest there's no good reason why you are unable to deal with my client's application. Uh, Mr Janning uh, did not contest the injunction application in September and he has admitted here in court today that he has been to the matrimonial home, as we've heard, in breach of the injunction. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, may I further add, Your Honour, I've just received a text message from my client. She's in the court waiting room but she's apprehensive about coming into the for the reasons laid out beforehand. In, in fact, she is Absolutely. afraid to be in Mr. Janning's presence. Uh, and might I, might I, are, are, are we able to avail ourselves of special measures in this? Well, can can I just say a couple of things? Yeah. Firstly, what he said, absolute rubbish. All this, she's frightened, rubbish. And secondly, special measures. I haven't heard of it. C can you tell me what that is, please? And thirdly, he just used his mobile phone then. Mm. I was told... I'm sorry, Your Honour. I, I'd like to have my little say. I was told before I came into court, oh, can you switch that off? Yet, 
Mr. Smarty Pants here is there texting away. How come he's allowed it? Right. Or is Mr. it one Janning. rule for the lawyers and another rule for Mr. fathers Janning. fighting for justice? Please calm down. Please do not interrupt. Take hold of yourself, please. Sit down. Mr. Talbot, do you have anything more to add? No, nothing at all, Your Honour. Thank you. Right, I'm ready with my rulings. Um, we're going to look at Mrs. Janning's application to begin with. Um, the application for Mr. Janning to be committed to prison must be adjourned. He must be allowed the opportunity to seek um, representation. The last incident is said to have occurred on the 20th of October 2008, so there's no obvious urgency for this that I can see. In any event, it is desirable that the committal proceedings should not be heard at the same time as Mr. Janning's um, application. Now, uh, Mrs. Janning's must attend these proceedings. She's made some very serious allegations against Mr. Janning's, and it is only right and proper that he or his representative should have the opportunity to question her or take her evidence. Um, I understand her anxiety about being in the same room as Mr. Janning. However, any application for special measures must be made in advance and should not be left to the last minute as it has been done today. I'm not prepared to grant an order for special measures today. I would require you, Mr. Talbot, to issue an application. Uh, but Your Honour, with the, with the utmost respect, yes. I would ask you to reconsider that. Uh, quite simply on the, on the basis that costs in themselves will be saved if the order is made now, rather than requiring oh, a formal sake. application to be issued for consideration prior to or at the she next She just said she's not going to do it. Mr Janney. Um, all right, well, you make a good point, Mr Talbot. Um, Thank you, I can and I should make a special measures order today. All right. Now, Mr. Janning, um, you will file and serve an affidavit in reply within 21 days. Mr. Talbot should then file and serve within 14 days thereafter a schedule of allegations and responses. At the same time, Mr. Talbot, you should file and serve a report from the police regarding their um, alleged attendance on the 20th of October 2008 at the matrimonial home and indeed any other attendances by the police at that address. Uh, you must prepare and lodge a bundle and provide a um, copy to Mr. Janning if he remains unrepresented and include a case summary by 12 o'clock noon, two working days before the hearing and the application, which will now be heard on the 9th of February 2009. I estimate it will last one day. Yes, Your Honour. Thank you, Your Honour. Um, I would also like to apply, Your Honour, for a power of arrest to be attached to the injunction granted in September. Uh, the court at the time may oh. deal with this as an oversight, as I understand, and I would ask that that's now remedied and that the uh, power of arrest be attached to the occupation order and the non-molestation order and also that it should continue for 12 months as of today. Uh, sorry, look, can you just explain what he just said in plain English? What I'm being asked, Mr Janning, is I'm being asked to direct that you may be arrested by the police Arre if, if you breach the injunction against you. Right. You would then be brought to court and you would be kept in custody and you would remain in custody for as long as the court thought fit until the time of the hearing uh, of that breach allegation. Is that clear? Mm. Now, Mr. Talbot, I must say that you have overlooked a change in the law in 2007. Mm -hmm. A power of arrest may no longer be attached to a new molestation order. It can be attached to the occupation order, but the power of arrest cannot continue beyond the expiry of the injunction. Uh, sorry to uh, uh, show my ignorance yet again, but can you just explain to me in plain English what I have to do regarding this application to send me to prison? Mr. Janning, the order is quite clear. And what you should do is take the document that you will receive from the court in this regard and show it to your solicitor. Well, sorry, can I make an order? Can, I, can, can you make an order that I can see my children? Right, let's deal with your application, Mr. Janning, then. Now, um, I will not make a direct contact order. The principle of contact is at issue. Allegations of violence in the presence of the children and towards one of the children have been made. There is insufficient information to order contact, despite the possibility of a different order at the final hearing, which is going to be a few months hence. In any event, the court does not have the benefit of advice from the CAFCAS officer on this point. Um, 
I'm unable to reach any conclusion today as whether contact is in the interests of the children and whether the safety of the children and of Miss, Mrs. Janning can be secured before, during and after such contact. I fully understand, Mr. Janning, that you are anxious uh, to have contact with your children, but the children's welfare is much more important than anything else. This principle can be found right at the very beginning of the statute which applies to the proceedings. The Children's Act, 1989. It applies to all parties, the lawyers and the court. Of course, there should be indirect contact, and by that I mean letters, birthday cards, and contact by telephone. Now, I feel I have no option but to adjourn further consideration of this application until the Section 7 report is available. Uh, Mr. Carson, I direct that that report should be served by the 15th of April, 2009. Absolutely, Your Honor. And that this case will be listed for further consideration on the first available date after the 15th of April, 2009 with an estimated length of about 30 minutes for the hearing. Uh, Mr. Carson, I expect and I direct that you should attend that hearing. Yes, Your Honour. I have no further orders to make. So, that's it, eh? I can't see me kids for six months. This is unfair, love. This is so unfair. The little man gets no justice in this society, and you lot, all there with your secret looks and your handshakes, Mr. and Daniel. God knows what else, and all you do is take people's money and stitch us up. Mr Janning. Can I appeal against the contact decision? Well, you may appeal to the Court of Appeal in London. However, you would require permission to do so. Permission. Yeah, well, that permission uh, may be requested now or of the appeal court, and it will only be given if the court considers the appeal would have a real prospect of some success or there's some other compelling reason why the appeal should be heard. Right. I want to appeal now, then, please. Well, I'm going to refuse that permission. See? Told you. Stick If up. you wish to take the matter further, you should go to the court office, who I have no doubt will be extremely helpful. Now, um, does either party wish to address me any further? No. Thank you. That concludes today's hearing. Please stand.